Hey guys, it's Dustin. Uh, today is the 11th. I got my sidekick Willie with me. He just went up there. That's fine, I'm not too worried about him. Uh, anyways, I got a couple more questions in the comments I figured I'd answer. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made a video today. Um, uh, first, um, Timmy Jane Orogo, I guess is how I'd you say that. Or Orogo, something like that. Uh, you were asking about how to know uh, whether your pigeon is pregnant or not. Um, so I'll go over that. But first, before I step into the breeding loft, just while I'm uh, out here with the uh, young bird, several people have asked about, uh, have uh, told me ways I could uh, stop the auction birds and stuff from being able to fly and things so I could continue to fly my other birds. Uh, I think I just didn't, uh, I wasn't very clear uh, when I was talking about uh, not flying them. It's not that I can't fly them anymore. I certainly can. Um, I'm just choosing not to. And Willie's back. Yeah, I'm not real worried about him flying away or anything. Uh, anyways, so um, I certainly can continue to fly my young birds. Uh, there's just not much point in it. The reason that I'm flying them is not really for my enjoyment, um, though I do enjoy watching them fly. The reason I'm flying them is to get them trained up for uh, the race. And um, there's just, uh, since these uh, auction birds and the other young birds in my breeding loft that'll be moved out here, since they're gonna have to, um, uh, they're not gonna be strong at first, of course, I'm gonna have to fly them for short periods of time, slowly increasing that period, uh, increasing the amount of time that they're flying to get them stronger uh, until their strength is the same as the strength of the other pigeons I have and then I can continue to train them all as a group. Uh, so there's just not really any point in uh, continuing to fly them. Yes, I could continue to fly them without flying them any longer than I had been so that I didn't make them too much stronger, but inevitably they would continue to get stronger um, and that, there's just not a real need. Um, so yeah, I, I could do it, um, and there's several ways I could stop the auction bird from being able to fly. I could take their wings, could pull the flight feathers. Uh, it does not appear to cause any pain to pigeons when their feathers are pulled out, um, and though it would take over a month for the amount of flight feathers I need to pull to grow back, uh, so, and I don't want to have to wait that long, but I'm not, I, I could tape them, uh, but I'm not going to do any of that. All it would do is create extra stress for the uh, auction birds. If I wanted to get my other young birds out and fly them, I'm pretty confident that I could do it without letting the auction birds out. Uh, there's just not any need. Um, so that's the only reason I'm not doing that. So I appreciate everyone trying to uh, give me advice on how I could, uh, how I could continue to fly them. But yeah, I could. I, I know that. I'm just not. Also, something I noticed when I came out here, look at my landing board. If y'all remember just the other day, it was drooping down, uh, which is completely to be expected. It's just a piece of plywood, and I didn't put anything to support it out here on the end, but it's actually straightened back out again. I just think that's kind of funny that it's doing that. I expected it to be uh, uh, flopped over by now and not be straight, but and it did start to droop, but now it's straight again, so I don't know. I don't know why that is, how that works exactly. Will, are you going to come in the breeding loft with me, or are you going to stay out here and enjoy the, the nice day? I think he's going to stay out here and just enjoy the nice weather today. He'll panic as soon as I go in the breeding loft and start trying to figure out where I went. He does not like to be left alone. Anyways, so I'll talk a little bit about... Um, uh, how to uh, tell if your pigeon's ready to lay. Uh, I'm also going to check and see if this other baby hatched. Uh, no, it did not. And actually, with this egg being as dirty as it is, I see this is the first one that hatched. So, it may not, it may not, it may have died. But here's, here's what you do. Let me get my camera and flip around so you can see me. Put it up to your ear. And you listen. And if you hear movement, you know that there's a baby in there. And I'm not hearing anything. I don't know. It may, maybe that, that egg is just not going to hatch. Um, they weren't supposed to hatch until tomorrow, though. Uh, I don't think. So I'm going to give it a little longer and. 
we'll see. But I think that one's dead. I didn't hear anything. Uh, of course, that wouldn't work on a real young egg. So let's see. These guys, their, his eggs are not far behind there. It's only a few days behind, but I don't remember exactly. Anyway, so as for knowing if your pigeon's ready to, to lay or not, first there's some behavior to look out for in the first place. Um, when your pigeon... When um, a pair decides they're ready to breed, the male's going to court the female a lot, of course. Uh, but what's going to happen is he's going to uh, start driving her. And what that means is that he's going to sit in the nest and coo, and she's going to come, and they're going to establish out of their nest. A lot of times they'll put nesting material in it, and then he'll start driving her, which is where every time she leaves the nest box, he'll come up behind her and peck her on the head, uh, wanting her to go back. Uh, and sometimes, if they do it a lot, You'll even see some feathers missing off the top of their head. I know she got like that for a little while. Um, but anyway, so they'll start pecking them on the head. Uh, and if you're out here a lot, you'll probably see them mating at least once or twice. And then you know that they're they're breeding and they're they're getting ready to lay. Uh, usually, once he's driving the hen pretty pretty hard, it's not going to be more than a few days. Probably not more than a week. But probably not that long. Um, I'm not sure if this pair is laid or not. I know that they're ready to. No, see, she's not. So this hen is about to start breeding again. Um, they've already had one one baby. Uh, one of their eggs wasn't fertile. There it is right there. They've already, they've kicked it out of the nest box. Well, they may not have really kicked it out. It may have just left on its own. But um, they've, they've added a little bit more nesting material. They're not really doing much of that, though. And some pigeons won't. Um, but... Um, they, uh, uh, you see the hens sit, uh, standing in the nest bowl with him right there. You'll basically see them doing that a lot. Now, you, you see it, pigeons standing in their nest all the time. That's completely normal. But when she's getting ready, ready to lay, she'll stay there a lot. And once she starts getting closer to laying, she'll usually stay sitting down, and usually her feathers will be ru kind of ruffled up. Um, so that's one way you'll know that they're, they're getting ready to lay. And then usually their tail will kind of point down. Uh, hers isn't really pointing down. Uh, and she may not lay for a couple more days. But um, unfortunately I don't think I have any good examples of pigeons like that. Um, it looks like someone might be trying to make a nest in there. And by someone, I mean Coco and Swift right there. The brown one in the scribble here. But, um, or he's after it. But, this pair has already laid two eggs, uh, and she was staying on the nest a lot. I need to mark that down on the calendar now. Or maybe I did already. No, I didn't. She laid the second one today. I usually wait for the second one to be laid, and then I'll, I'll do that. Also, I'm going to move this satin hen in here today. I guess I'll, I'll do it. So, she's been away from... Her mate's been gone for two or three days now. Um, so, I'm going to pin her and the satin neck cock I want to mate her with uh, together in here. This is not a tame satin net. Anyways, bear with me. i got to use my hand the camera's in. So anyways, he's been in here for a few days establishing this is his nest, his nest box. So now we'll leave them in there and let them get to know each other. Uh, there will probably be some fighting at first, but... Uh, See, he's, he knows that she's a, a hen. Mostly, he wants to, uh, just wants her to mate with him. Probably the fighting is going to be from her fighting with him. Because uh, this particular hen is just a real mean little hen. And there's one of her babies right there. And there's the other one there. They should both be eating and drinking on their own now. Uh, she, was, she was still feeding them, but not a, not a ton. Uh, I need to refill my feeder. Yeah, it's empty now. I need to refill it. But, um... Yeah, so hopefully that kind of helps you a little bit. Um, I have shown a hen that was ready to lay in one of my uh, video first videos, but I don't remember exactly which one it was. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm letting y'all look at the birds while I think about it. Um, it was probably... I don't know. One of my first updates, if you go back and look at a few of the first updates, one of them I had a, a hen that was ready to lay that I went into a bit of detail on showing how I knew she was ready to lay, and then shortly after that she did. 
<clears throat> but uh, hopefully that helped a little bit. But uh, yeah, April's baby is down out of the nest box now. I'm probably just going to leave it that way. It's old enough, I'm not worried about it getting splay legs or anything. Hopefully they'll go ahead and breed again. But, uh, yeah. Nice looking little baby. What you being so mean about, April? Oh, you're not mean. No, you're not mean. I'm just trying to admire your baby. Ah, got a little fight going on. Surprise April shine away. Hey there, bud. Hello. Oh, you gonna bite me? Oh, yeah, go at it. Have at it. Oh, what, you wanna bite me too? Nah, you're a scaredy cat. That's what I thought. Run away. Tomorrow it'll be time to ban this pair of babies right here. And they are getting pretty big. Well, I mean not that big, but as far as banding goes, they're getting they're getting there, that's for sure. But uh, there we go. Alright, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show y'all. Kind of a short update today. Um, also, I wanted to mention, I, um, uh, I of course have a personal Facebook page for myself, but I, uh, started a Facebook page for my YouTube channel the other day, so, um, if y'all want to go on there, it's just called Birdman29, uh, I haven't posted much on there yet, but I just started, I figured it would make it a little easier to communicate with y'all and stuff. I'll be able to just share random pictures from the loft uh, that way, uh, and y'all will be able to share some too. If y'all send me pics I'll, from your loft, I'll share those. I uh, just figured it'd be a good way to uh, help everyone be able to communicate together. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Take care.